everyone, I'm Robert and this is Contentment Channel. And something fun about living here at Contentment is being able to see so much of the wildlife and the flora and fauna and nature from around here. One of the most interesting little animals, birds, is a Say's Phoebe we named Oscar and Olivia. Now, they're back from last summer but we don't know if they're the same birds or not, of course. But the two Sace Phoebes this year, who are still Oscar and Olivia to us, have made a nest up under the dump truck, up underneath. And so they've got some eggs in there and things. So I was going to tell you a little bit about a Sace Phoebe. <laughs> These traps, to give you an update, so I give you an update. These traps are working wonderfully. Uh, yesterday we had three. Today we have three. They're in there. I just won't show them. But uh, these traps have been working great. They've been working pretty good. There's what? a hummingbird. <laughs> That's a hummingbird. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Here he's, oh, look at this red throat. You know what else we have here? We have a, fee, a, a male and female Phoebe hanging out, and we can't really move Dumpy for a little while because they've set up the nest inside of Dumpy. But I'm afraid that a blackbird might try to get it or something. Well, so far it hasn't, but because let me. Look. I don't know if you can see down there, way in the corner, there's that Phoebe's nest. We like those kinds of birds around here because they're great bug catchers. And see, I can see the eggs. There are eggs in there. I just don't know if I can get the footage here. Let's see. Oh, looky there. Three little eggs. Three little eggs in the Phoebe's nest. Let's hope for 20. And let's hope that they come back every year and hang out here. We've got to provide some nesting boxes or shelves or something for them because uh, they're great to have around, these little birds. Of course, they're related to the Eastern Phoebes, but they're unlike the other two Phoebes because they do not go anywhere near water. They don't use mud in their nests and they stay in dry climate areas kind of like where contentment is. Their natural habitat is in Mexico and their breeding ground can go all the way up to the Alaskan tundra. So right now where contentment is, this is the breeding ground for the Sace Phoebe. The Sace Phoebe doesn't stay here year round because it gets too cold in the winter. It just migrates up here for uh, breeding season. Um, so the Sace Phoebes usually build nests under eaves of porches or ranches or barns or whatever. They're not adverse to being around people and obviously you guys can see how close these two birds are to our shouse and where we are interacting outside you know, day in day out. Okay, so what happens is the male comes first, looks for a nesting spot. The male they don't know for sure if both birds build the nest. They think that the female builds the nest and they get all kinds of things, spider webs, anything that they can find, but they don't use mud, unlike the other Phoebes. Um, they can have one or two broods a year. They lay anywhere from three to seven eggs. They're white eggs. The ones later on are speckled sometimes. Um, the female incubates the eggs. It takes 12 to 14 days for the eggs to incubate. So it takes 14 to 16 days for the baby birds to leave the nest. Say's Phoebes are insect eaters and they eat winged ants, any kinds of birds, beetles, mosquitoes, whatever. Um, sometimes they'll eat berries, but around here, no, because there are no berries. Um, so what they do 
is you'll see them flying low to the ground and they kind of hover there. They'll see an insect and swoop down and get it. Uh, the Spanish name for the Seis Bibis is Masquero Llanero. So it's really kind of cool to be able to watch these things. Hopefully they'll hatch out. We'll see the little babies. And we can only hope that they come back here year after year and we can keep them kind of in nesting areas so they can help keep the bug population down. Thanks for watching.